so this is a raw video, unedited. I just wanna be like authentically myself and tell you how I've been making over a million dollars per year as both an option trader primarily, as well as a coach. And you know, no BS here, let's just jump right into the content. I used to be a game addict where I was playing like eight hours of video games per day. And I was just trying to escape my reality, which was growing up in a poor household, not really having access to too many things. So I didn't really have too much opportunities to actually do fun things. So I was just basically playing video games all the time. And I knew in the back of my mind that something wasn't right. And that was actually the finances in my family. So both my parents had come from Eastern Europe. And one of the most difficult things was that they didn't know how to speak English. So we spoke Russian at home. And, you know, we never really had the opportunity to go out and do too much because my dad was washing dishes, mopping floors. My mom was sitting with me. Eventually she did get a job as a front desk receptionist, but the hourly rate is like 12 to $14 per hour. So for me, I was really, really money hungry until I was about 26 years old and started making over a million dollars per year trading options and actually having the freedom and flexibility to travel and live life on my own terms. So it really wasn't easy and it was a very long process. What I did was I went to college for biomedical engineering, but really quickly I realized that that wasn't the right fit for me. So I went into career services and I talked about just how do I make the most amount of money? And finance was recommended to me. And when I started studying economics and finance, it was literally like so much bliss. I just totally understood. And my mind was like, wow, this is actually something worth understanding because I wanted to understand how money works. How do I gain money and how do I multiply money and how do I keep money? So all three of those things are really important. So once I started studying finance, I ended up getting an internship, which is my first internship on Wall Street trading options. So I wasn't actually trading options though. I was in the risk management pit as we call it. So that means that I was sitting next to professional option traders and basically managing the risk and making sure that there were no you know, issues when they were making any trades. So if they wanted to trade 100 you know, shares, that was actually 100 option contracts. So the job was really boring, but I got to learn a lot about option trading and I read countless books that summer. So I read two different books um, that were really boring, very theoretical. And honestly, although I'm kind of a math person, I do not really wanna be studying like lots of geeky things all day. I actually just wanted freedom. So I decided to go you know, back to college after this internship and keep focusing on investing. But you know, at the time, I wasn't really sure if option trading was a thing for me. So I had many doubts and I was just studying trading in general, but I had noticed that all the textbooks would say that the stock market returns eight to 10 or even 12% per year and that markets are very efficient. So it's really difficult to actually beat the market. And that's why it's so hard to really trick me with this finance and investing stuff because I understand that the, the way the world works is that if there was a really huge return, everyone would obviously take advantage of that really big return and it would go away. It'd be like the equivalent of a truck falling over with hundreds of dollars of bills on a busy highway. Everyone would get out of their cars and start collecting those you know, $100 bills and all of a sudden there would be no more $100 bills to go by. So that is how the law of averages works. So for me, I looked at stock trading and I realized that even if I'm a genius, a mathematical genius of some sort, I still wouldn't really become rich very quickly. So that's what actually led me back to option trading. So I understood that options have a leverage factor. I saw that so many traders I was working with, I started to remember, well, they were making 13 to $15,000 per day. And at the time I wasn't really understanding because I was 19 years old and I wasn't like fully conscious of like all of the money habits and all of the money um, theories. To me, it was just like 13 to $15,000. I didn't even know exactly how much that was or how good that was. But then I started to understand that the capital that they were using was actually not that much. So the returns they were going for was 100 to 200% per year. That's actually why so many option traders burnt out. They got fired because they weren't able to keep up with that high barrier. But what I realized is even if I make 50% returns per year, year over year, that's going to scale a portfolio to some astronomically high numbers. Now that's not even possible if you have a portfolio that gets into the millions of dollars because all of a sudden, 50% returns on you know $10 million is $5 million. And you're, you're gonna become richer than Donald Trump in you know, a number of decades. But what I did realize is that you can grow a small portfolio very quickly, and that's exactly what I did. I did take risk, but I'm super happy that I did so because I took a $7,000 account to $70,000. I got my first job out of college. I was working as a technology consultant at IBM. And the reason why I wanted to become a technology consultant and not keep working in finance was because I wanted freedom of trading. 
See, when you work at a hedge fund or you're a buy side analyst, you're actually not allowed to trade your own money because you have advantaged information and that's actually regulated by the SEC. So for me, I was really interested not to work in finance because I had already learned everything that I needed to. I was already super confident in my ability to generate income. So I ended up getting a tech job. I saved about $30,000. I invested it fully into my option trading portfolio. So I had already built a $70,000 portfolio, put $30,000 more at 100K. And then that year was the year of Tesla. So um, about 50% of my money was in Tesla. So I was really betting heavily um, by buying call options, by leveraging my portfolio with poor man's covered calls, and really playing interesting strategies that could give me those big returns because I was looking to either get rich fast or die trying. And I know that's not what this channel is about. I'm all about safety, but sometimes you want more aggressive risk and you want more aggressive returns. And I think that's absolutely fine as long as you use your mind and actually manage those positions correctly. Now, hard to do because when you're really leveraged into one stock, that's not so easy to manage your risk. But I've done a lot of research and I paid very, very close attention to technical analysis. So that year I was able to take 100K into 700K. And then I decided and I told myself that 700K, even at four to 5% per month in returns, was $2,800 to $3,500. So at that point, it was very easy for me to move to Colombia because, you know, not being in the United States, you can really lower your expenses. There's also other tax advantages by not living in US and $3,500 was actually enough, even on the bare case scenario for me to live a decent life. At that point, I was basically 25 years old and very shortly after that, I became a millionaire by just getting another you know, 10, 20, 30%. It was pretty easy from there. 700K scales into $1 million in no time. And that next year I had a 59% return. So it actually far exceeded my expectations. Again, I was aiming fairly small and I started using selling strategies and I still was able to make 59% return by using selling strategies, which are way safer than buying strategies. And then of course, last year I made a 28% return, but when you're managing $2 million, 28% is over 500K. And I have another portfolio, which um, I just showed you guys in a recent video, that portfolio has more than doubled. But again, I'm using more riskier strategies that I only cover in my Discord community, because to be honest, it is not suitable for a majority of you guys. You actually have to be not only passionate, hardworking with option trading, you need to understand it on a deeper level to actually make those big returns. Because if you aim for really big returns and you don't understand risk management, you don't understand profit taking, you're very, very likely to just blow up your portfolio. So right now I've actually doubled my money. I have a second portfolio, which is now bigger than my main portfolio, because again, I've been using a lot of buying strategies. I've started to have a little bit of that logic of, I want big returns because I want to see what I can accomplish in life. I've been really pushing myself to, you know, really dial up that risk, but use it very smartly. So now what my life looks like is, well, for the past four years, I've actually been traveling a whole lot. I'm in a new country about every one to two months. I've officially kind of settled more in Dubai. And now what I'm really enjoying is getting consistent passive results with only working about two hours per week. So the happiest I really am is because I have so much freedom and option trading does that versus you know other opportunities like starting a business. And yes, I'm a coach, but everything I do is a really high leverage factor, meaning I put in very little time and my goal is to make as much money as possible in a short amount of time without becoming overburned, without having to lie, without having to cheat just being really authentic and honest to myself. So option trading really does that for me in just a couple hours per week. So if you wanna aggressively grow your portfolio while not taking on excessive risk and actually understanding option trading on a deep level, I'm going to give you something that I wish I would've had myself. And I mean it, I wish, because I wasted so much time and time is way more valuable than money. Comment down below, free Discord, and one of you guys I'm going to choose and give you guys a free membership to my Discord community. My biggest advice is I have four different playlists. If you just watch two out of the four playlists, I guarantee you're gonna become an option master.